emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Welcome to another quickie FAQ with Fox and Sprue. If you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find tons more info and resources about today's question on our website's FAQ page for it. Link in the description below this video. Simon Devil asks, when building a model, do you paint the wheel wells, wheel strips, etc. before assembly or once the entire model is built and mask them off? Essentially, he's asking about planning painting order and using sub-assemblies. And the simple answer is yes, and also no. What? To put it simply, when you're starting a model, it's important to consider and roughly plan out your painting order before you start assembly. Wander through the instructions and get a feel for how the model will go together. Most models are collections of sub-assemblies. For example, you might build a cockpit or engine or interior separately, and then later on install this sub-assembly inside another assembly, like a fuselage or a car body or hull or what have you. As you go through the instructions, try and visualise in the foldy parts of your brain how it's all going to go together. Try and break the build up into separate stages in your brain and see what would be paintable at each stage. For example, imagine you're building a plane and there's a super detailed cockpit with seat belts and dials and twiddly knobs and all the little tinies that give people with old man eyes the collie wobbles. The first question you must always ask is, can I paint this once it's installed in place? Now, in most cases, it's going to be highly unlikely that it be possible or practical. So then you can ask yourself, if I paint the cockpit interior first, can I mask it off later when it's installed and I'm painting the assembled fuselage? And then, if I do need to paint it first, does the model build up in a way that will allow me to install it into one half of the fuselage and then paint it? Or would construction prevent that? Should I just assemble it as a standalone sub-assembly, paint it and then install it into the fuselage? And one other point to consider, a very important point too, if I paint the cockpit first, will I be able to easily install it into the fuselage without getting glue everywhere and messing up all my hard work? This thinky braining process can be applied to all stages of a build and all types of model. It sounds complex and a bit like hard work, but really it takes minutes once you get the hang of it. Most models tend to follow similar assembly patterns. So if you tend to build the same things, planes or tanks or cars or figures or whatever, you'll come across the same build orders over and over and you'll quickly learn to anticipate what sub assemblies are likely to exist in the build. It's also part of the fun of the assembly process. As a real world example, here's a Games Workshop Space Wolf Stormwolf Flyer that I built. Looking at the instructions, I knew that I had to paint up the cockpit and the pilot and also the crew cabin interior, which would be tricky or impossible once the fuselage was fully built, as it's basically an enclosed box. However, I could also see that the entire top of the fuselage goes on as a sort of roof in one go and that the cockpit was fully assembled and then slotted into this roof from underneath before it was attached to the fuselage. I could see that I would easily be able to attach and fix the roof without any risk to the areas already painted. This allowed me to happily assemble the cockpit and cabin interior, get them painted whilst they were accessible, install the cockpit into the roof and then glue the roof on top with no problems. Then I masked off the cockpit interior and painted the exterior of the model. So there you go. It's just a simple case of planning the build and asking, can I paint this in situ? And if not, what's the last point at which I can paint it? If your landing gear is down and you can easily get to it to paint it once it's installed, then go for it. But if painting it off the model will be easier and you reckon you can install it later without messing up the paint job with glue, then go for that instead. It's all about taking a little time to plan ahead and choosing the easiest option available. And it soon becomes second nature. There's no right or wrong, just whatever works best for that particular build at that particular time. So I hope this FAQ helped you out. Remember to check our other FAQ guides and if you have a quickie question, send it to sales at emodels.co.uk with the title FAQ question or fill out the contact form on the website. Until next time, make something awesome. <laughs>